Good morning students. I am Prakash Tripathi and today I am going to teach you the third chapter of your book Flamingo Deep Water. The writer of this lesson is William Douglas. In this lesson he gives a detailed experience how he overcame his fear of water, how an incident almost killed him but at the same time he strengthened himself and he overcame his fear of water. In the beginning paragraph he says that it occurred when he was 10 or 11 year old. When he was 10 or 11 year old he decided to learn swimming. There was a river Yakima but he could not dare to learn swimming in the Yakima river because he says that his mother kept him reminding the drowning cases that occurred in that river. Means many people had died while uh, swimming or taking bath in that river. The writer says that the river was very treacherous. Treacherous means deceptive. So he decided to learn swimming in the YMCA pool. The YMCA pool was very safe. The shallow end was just 2 to 3 feet deep and the other end of the pool was 9 feet deep. And the drop was gradual. He says that the drop was gradual there. It means it was easy for a beginner to learn swimming in that YMCA pool. So he got a pair of water rings and he went to the YMCA pool. But he says that he was ashamed. He was feeling shy of showing his skinny legs. His legs were very thin but he says that I subdued my pride and did it. It means he overcame his pride. He overcame his shyness and he decided to go for swimming. Then he mentions one another incident when he was just three to four year old and he had gone with his father to the California beach. See what happened there. He and I stood together in the surf. Surf means the foamy waves of the sea. I hung on to him and the waves knocked me down and swept over me. The waves were so strong that he was knocked down by the waves and he was almost buried in the waves. His father was standing and laughing at his fear. But he was extremely uh, frightened. He could not believe that the uh, strong waves of the sea had such an overpowering force. So when he tried to learn swimming at the YMCA pool, that memories uh, came back. But he was determined that I would definitely learn swimming. But in a little while I gathered confidence. I paddled with my new water wings watching the other boys and trying to learn by aping them. In the beginning there was nobody to teach him. So what did he do? He observed the people who were already taking bath or swimming in the pool and he copied. He tried to imitate. I went to the pool when no one else was there. One day now the misadventure is going to happen. The incident that really turned his life. The place was quiet. That day it was a very quiet. The water was still and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bathtub. The tiles could be seen. It, the water was so crystal clear that anyone can see the tiled bottom of the pool. I had not been there long when in came a big bruiser of a boy. Bruiser of a boy. Bruiser means the person or the boy who bully other boys, who tries to dominate other boys. Probably he was 18 years old. He had a very beautiful physical specimen with rippling muscles. Rippling means with waving muscles. And he yelled, hi skinny, how would you like to be dubbed? He told the author, hi skinny. He, he said him uh, skinny in a very sarcastic manner and asked him would you like to be dubbed into the swimming pool and before the writer could realize anything the boy picked him and tossed him into the swimming pool. You can imagine a boy who had just started learning to swim how frightened he might have been on that day. He had th uh, I was frightened but not yet frightened out of my wits. Actually the writer landed in a sitting position. 
he says that i was frightened no doubt he was extremely frightened but he says that i was not out of my wits means he was in his senses so when a person is in his senses he tries to plan there is a strategy now what is his strategy on the way down i planned when my feet hit the bottom he decided that when my leg would hit the bottom i would make a big jump i will jump with all my uh, force come to the surface lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool this was his plan that somehow i would be able to reach the shore of the pool it seemed a long way down but those 9 feet deep swimming pool appeared to him like 90 feet and his plan failed actually when he his legs hit the bottom he could not come up with that force which he had thought i would he had thought that he would bob to the surface like a cork bob means come up like a cork instead i came up slowly but he came very slowly he opened his eyes and saw nothing there was water and water everywhere and meanwhile what happened he was suffocating it it means it was very difficult for him to breathe i tried to yell but no sound came he he tried for help but there was no one to help him i flailed at the surface of the water flailed means moved without control uh, here and there he started moving his head uh, legs and hands swallowed and choked i tried to bring my legs up but they hung as dead weights he tried to bring his legs up he tried to do some uh, type of movement but nothing worked that day i screamed but only the water heard me i had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool again he started going down but while going down for the second time again he thought of the same plan that he would hit his uh, hit the bottom he would take a big jump he would lie flat on the surface and somehow paddle to the edge of the pool in the second time also the condition became worst he could not come up with the uh, great speed on the top he i went down endlessly i opened my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could not see through he was not able to see also through that dark water he was getting dizzy my lungs ached his lungs started paining i would lie flat the same uh, plan he had made but he could not succeed in that i was shrieking under water i was paralyzed he was shrieking he was shouting actually he was shouting for help but nothing happened only my heart and the pounding in my head said that i was still alive he could just realize that he was not dead he was still alive and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason during that situation during that crit critical situation a reason came in his mind i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom the same strategy which i had mentioned earlier but again he failed and for the third time when he started going down into the swimming pool he stopped all his efforts to save his life all effort ceased it means all his effort ceased and he uh, wanted to just lie down just flow down with the flow of the water there was no more panic it was quiet and peaceful he was relaxed uh and he thought that he is going to sleep and he wanted to sleep too tired to jump it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space and then he says i cross to oblivion oblivion means a state of forgetfulness this is a situation when you don't know what is happening around yourself the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting the next moment when he opened his eyes he saw that he was vomiting and the people had gathered around him someone said the kid nearly died he had almost uh, died in that uh, misadventure which happened with him let's carry him to the locker room 
Several hours later, actually the boy who had thrown him, he told the people gathered around there that I was just kidding, I was just joking. But people said that your joke had nearly killed him. But luckily he was saved. Now after this event, the author was so horrified, he was so terrified that he could not dare to go near water. He was so frightened and wherever he went, that haunted fear followed him. And as a result, he ruined his fishing trips, deprived me the joy of canoeing. Canoeing uh, is a small boat, boating and swimming. So he was deprived of all these beautiful things. In other words, he started to avoid all the uh, water games, uh, all the activities which were associated with water. He could not go for fishing, he could not go for boating, he could not go for swimming also. But he did not give up. Several years passed and that terror remained in his mind. Then he decided to overcome his fear and now see what he did. He appointed an instructor. One October I decided to get an instructor and learn to swim. He, did, he was determined that I would conquer my fear of water. The instructor put a belt around me. A belt was put around him. A rope was attached to the belt through a pulley that ran on overhead cable, he held on to the end of the rope. Means a belt was tied around his waist and a rope was attached to the belt and the other end of the rope was in the hand of the instructor. With the help of the instructor, he started moving here and there. It was a very tough training. He actually um, forth across the pool hour after hour, day after day, week after week, on each trip across the pool, a bit of the panic seized me. Actually, he used to practice five days in a week, one hour daily. And during that session, that panic you used to come back to his mind. Each time the instructor relaxed the uh, hold on the rope, I went under some of the old terror returned and my legs froze. Whenever the instructor loosened the rope, he used to get extremely frightened and the same fear would come many folds. But by bit and bit, I shed part of the panic that seized me when my head went under water. Now the instructor uh, tried to explain him how to exhale and how to inhale. Thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and my dear students it took more than a six month. You must be wondering that how uh, such a long time was involved in learning swimming. But just imagine once the writer has said that if you have not gone through that fear you cannot imagine how terrified, how frightened I was. But I was not the instructor was finished but I was not finished. See he started uh, learning swimming with his instructor in the month of October and now April came. The instructor was finished means the job of instructor was done. He had taught him almost everything how to swim but still the author had some doubts in his mind. This went on until July. Another 3-4 months passed, but I was still not satisfied. I was not sure that all the terror had left. Still, he had some doubts. But to remove that doubt, again he started working very hard. And he went to the various places, various cascades, various rivers, various islands. And he used to swim for hours and hours and slowly and slowly he overcame his fear of water. Yet I had a residual doubts. Residuals means some leftover doubts. There were some doubts in his mind. Whether I am a champion, I have learned all the tricks of swimming or not. And then he swam to the various places which were almost very difficult. 
and when he was conf confident that I had learned swimming, he sh shouted with joy, and the Gilbert Peak returned the echo. I had conquered my fear of water. The author says that I had conquered my fear of water. The experience had a deep meaning for me. This, this misadventure that took place in the YMCA pool that had a great effect on his mind. As only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. See, if you have undergone through such experience and if you have conquered your fear, then only you can appreciate the efforts of the author. Because it was an uphill task for a boy who was so frightened that he stopped going near uh, to the water and but finally he conquered. And then he mentions one thing, all we have to fear is fear itself. The president of America Roosevelt said, because I had experienced both sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce. See, he had undergone both the things. He was almost at the edge of death and he was rescued. So he says that I had experienced both the sensation of dying, a dying person, how does a dying person feel and the terror that fear of it can produce. And due to that uh, dying experience, what a terror, what a fear comes in the mind of the author. The will to live somehow grew in intensity. But he says that the will to live somehow grew in intensity. At last I felt released, free to walk the trails, trails means path, and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. Brush aside fear means he was able to set aside the fear. Now, dear students, the message of the story is that where there is will, there is way. If you are determined, if you are strong enough, you can overcome any obstacle in, his, in your life. The author was extremely frightened. He could have given up, but see, he was a man of a strong determination and he did not give up. He appointed an instructor and it took more than almost a year. He started from October and he uh, became confident in July, but he conquered his fear of water. The message of the lesson is that any type of fear, any type of obstacle can be overcome with the hard work and sheer determination. That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day.